The route to production readiness is a long one for new Audi technology. The developers drive thousands of kilometers to test new parts and components under extreme conditions and develop them further. Sure, it's a job, but everything about this job is an adventure and that makes it fun. Audi Media TV accompanied the new optical laser scanner, the eye of upcoming Audi models, on its first excursion to the cold of Scandinavia. Audi technical development in Ingolstadt. This is where prototypes with tomorrow's technology are built. In the middle of the single frame grille is a small inconspicuous looking box, the laser scanner. It scans the zone in front of the vehicle and supplies information that's indispensable for traffic jam assist, automated parking and in the future for piloted driving as well. The team led by Dietrich Bock has invested a lot of work and energy in this component. The next few days will have to reveal whether the integrated mini heater and various cleaning nozzles can handle the snow and ice. If the laser scanner gradually gets coated with snow, our view will be impaired because it works optically and we have to make sure that its heating and cleaning functions operate properly so that we can offer maximum availability. The next morning, 2,600 kilometers of driving await the team. Above all, everyone's hoping for valuable findings in the extreme climate of the far north. But after 300 kilometers, the test vehicle is outputting incorrect data. Because of the payload, the car's now aimed a bit higher and the sensor's scanning too far upwards. This means we have to tilt it down more. But now we've reached the end of the bracket adjustment and can't tilt it down any further. This means now we need more materials from the hardware store to shift the bracket downward so the sensor looks straight ahead again. They buy washers, realign the scanner, adjust the laser. Efficient improvisation is one of the special skills of Christian Hilden and his colleagues. Tilt it slowly downward. Stop. The box has done its job once again. They continue on their way. Over the remaining 560 kilometers, the measuring instruments yield the first useful endurance test results, which are sent to Ingolstadt right away, where programmers are already using the data to optimize the software overnight. Day 2. The day's mission is to make life difficult for the laser scanner. Now we want to see whether the cleaning function works properly on the vehicle. First we cover the sensor with a paper tissue so that it doesn't see anything and this makes it want to clean itself. Systematically the team tests the new part to its limits with test setups like this. The setups have been prepared well and can be run quickly. It's exciting to see what the equipment can do without people. Day 3 in the middle of southern Sweden. The long-awaited snow is here. Quickly, the engineers note how the slush and ice give the laser scanner a difficult time. But the new eye appears to be up to the challenges. The first findings of our test are actually rather positive, I'd say. Our sensor is behaving just as expected. It can withstand the weather conditions here, which have now become very extreme. Now we will test it in detail to see just how it's behaving. Wie sich das Im genauen verhält. After 45 hours of test driving and just under 3,000 kilometers covered, Dietrich Bach's team finally reaches its goal. The thermometer at the Audi test center shows minus 18 degrees Celsius. Immediately, the three terabytes of data are forwarded for final evaluation, and the systems modified based on the new findings. Of course, this should benefit customers who will have access to full driver assistance. Drivers will be able to use and operate their parking pilot, traffic jam pilot, and ACC with good results, even in harsh conditions such as snow, slush and ice. That's why we have to test here. The engineers work at the test site for around two more weeks so that Audi customers will be able to access a perfectly functioning system.